Well, good morning. Thought we'd do a update on our tomatoes. As you can see, they since the last video, they have grown quite a bit. If you see, we've also mulched, and before mulching, we mounded. I don't know if this is something other people do or not. We didn't really research it, but what we did find out is that tomatoes are a vine and since they are a vine anything that touches their main stem will start to root well the stem will start to root and that's why you plant your tomatoes really deep and so we clipped off the lower branches and we mounted them up another let's see this one's about about four inches the middle one's about six inches it wasn't doing so good a, a worm or something ate the, the main branch but it's actually starting to come back we'll get something out of it yet and then in the back one we actually didn't mount it at all we wanted to do an experiment kind of a proof of concept we are experimenting for our future and we only put kind of an extra thick layer of mulch around it but that's all now, talk a little bit about our, our bed here. We don't do the raised beds. I know that we can. We're trying to do things, uh, I guess you might say cheap, and well, our backs are strong, and our hands are, are rough, and we really don't mind the extra labor. So this is the first bed that we actually did. It's uh, about four by four, and we only dug this one about 12 inches deep. We weren't kind of thinking in advance and about 90 percent of it is native soil we didn't go to the extension office we didn't have any kind of uh, um, soil analysis done we're just relying upon god to grow them and take what he needs to to do so we did however do about two cubic feet of miracle grow garden and vegetable soil because around here it's the cheapest thing we can buy and it was only five bucks it wasn't too bad and that's the only thing we just the the top top couple of inches we put that in and when we planted we planted as deep as we could go and when we were done this is about three weeks ago the tomato plants were literally just barely outside the soil maybe two or three little leaves they, they were just really deep and when you saw the video last time where the mound is right now on each of these is how tall they were and since since then we literally cut off the branches below the top couple of leaves mounded up to the top and in about a week this is how much growth we've gotten out of them all which really is pretty good well i should also show you our bucket we also mounted this one we purposely had left extra room in it, knowing that we were going to try the little mounding technique, and we we mulched it also, just to try to keep bugs down, moisture in it without overwatering it, because buckets are hard to to get good drainage in. And yes, I know you could probably see lots of suckers. It's time to to pull suckers off, and so we're going to do that today. So, like we said, with this this one it's only about a foot deep and after we continue doing more research and things we're not going to talk about that one actually that was the first one we did the tomatoes was the second this one was a foot deep that one is also a foot deep and our onions are doing really good we had a pretty heavy storm so a bunch of our stems broke basil's coming along real nice we overplanted on purpose we're going to transplant probably half of these when get a little bit bigger over into our tomatoes they are a, a friendly plant it will help with the different insects and in the back i don't know if you can tell but our tarragon's getting kind of big we're looking forward to that and then this bed this is the last one we did it's about five feet by four feet and we dug this one really deep. We went a full two feet plus 
and this one we did half no native soil, mixed a bunch of sand into it. We have very heavy clay, uh, just super clay soil. And so to get better drainage and not to uh, have roots rotting, we put in some rocks at the very, very bottom, not a lot. And we mixed, uh, oh, about 100 pounds of sand in. That's about, oh, I think it was two bags of sand. It wasn't a lot. And we mixed it real thoroughly. And then the remaining one foot this time, again, miracle Grow was really cheap. Uh, it was on sale. Four bucks for two cubic feet. We can't pass that up. So we, uh, we bought six cubic feet of that, and we got six cubic feet of, uh, of compost that was supposed to be really good for heavy clay soil to bring it up. I don't know if you can really see that well. It's, uh, I think it's called cotton burr. And you can see here, there's some cotton. And burr. Don't laugh. I don't care. It was cheap. It was like a dollar for two cubic feet. And, you know, they're supposed to be the experts. They told us about it. And, of course, that means we have extra soil. If we uh, run in some free lumber or whatever, down towards the end, we're going to do a raised bed, and we're going to use our extra soil to start a raised bed. And if you see, we've changed our mind, and, well, we're going to do yet another planting bed. But that's going to be for our, our hot peppers that like a lot of sun. And uh, we also started green beans. So I'll take you in really quick and I'll show you. We kind of mentioned the little mini greenhouse, so we'll, we'll make this a short update. When we talked about it on the video last time, I had literally done it that day. And look at these. I just took the uh, saran wrap off yesterday. These are literally from time of planting. Six or seven days old. I have to look at the calendar. And look at how beautiful they are. Out of the 16 planted, we have uh, 14 germinated. Only two didn't. One in that cup. And one in that cup. But they, you can see the mounding, so they probably did germinate. They just haven't come popping out yet. And let's not make you dizzy. I can definitely say for sure Basil Outdoors is doing better than the basil in containers. Who said containers are better? We've turned our little parsley pots into miniature greenhouses. The uh, time is coming up beautifully. Oh, look at that cilantro. It's about time to divide them and get them into their planting beds soon. They're looking real good. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.